All right, so in my last video, I tried to get higher speeds out of my iPhone and iOS devices by upgrading from a Ubiquiti UAP AC Pro Edition to a UAP AC HD access point. Things did not go as well as I hoped in that video. My before and after speeds were almost exactly the same, which was very weird to me at the time, but it sounded like maybe just a limitation on the iPhone. But after doing some more research, I found out that there was a default setting that I forgot to change. So I'm gonna show that to you now inside the Ubiquiti controller software. So down here in the controller software, let's click on my living room APACHD access point. And on this right side unify control panel, we'll click on the config gear and then go down to radios. So if you look under advanced options in radio 5G, you'll notice that the channel width is currently set to VHT 80. And when I was running my tests earlier, it was actually set to VHT 40, which was limiting the throughput of the HD access point. And changing it to VHT80 made a huge difference for me. So now that my Wi-Fi channel width is properly configured to VHT80, let me go ahead and open up iPerf3 and show you the speeds I'm getting now. So if you didn't catch my earlier video, I'm using a tool called iPerf3 for my speed tests. And what iPerf3 allows you to do is set up a local speed test server on your internal network so that you don't need to worry about the variables that are introduced on the general internet. So this way you know the true speed of your internal network, which is what I'm after here today. So we're going to start that up. And the server is now listening on port 5201. And you can run this tool between local computers, or if in my case, you're trying to figure out your Wi-Fi speeds, you just go ahead and download the iPerf app onto your iPhone. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that test now. So on the left side, I have a playback of the original speed test recording. And on the right, we have our current numbers coming in. So it looks like changing the channel width to VHT80 has picked us up about another 250 megabits per second or 31 megabytes per second. So surprisingly, when you configure things properly, they end up working right. So I hope this follow-up video helps you break that 290 megabits per second ceiling that I was running into. And if you found this video helpful, please click on the like button, leave me a comment down below, and consider subscribing to my channel for more great tech reviews. Thanks for watching.